Howdy folks, just a quick random video. Um, I recently uh, brought home a lot of uh, these LG monitors and uh, they were bought by an institution and they all started to fail en masse so they promptly got rid of them and then they uh, they uh, gave basically gave them to me for free because uh, they were basically e-waste. So uh, I've owned a couple of these before and they all seem to suffer from the exact same fault and that is uh, bad uh, capacitors in the power supply and this isn't a, a very uncommon thing. Now the power supply that these uh, monitors use has six caps in it uh, a 470 microfarad at uh, 25 volts, a 680 at 25 volts, um, two 1000 mic at 25 volts, and two 1000 mic at 16 volts. And uh, so basically I just ordered a whole bunch of new caps from Panasonic and Nichicon. Um, they arrived, replaced them all, all the monitors I got uh, worked fine again after that, not a big problem. So I was left with um, all of the capacitors uh, from the repair, and out of all of the monitors I had, nine of them in total, um, all the caps were either made by um, Samsung, which is a company that uh, some of you may have heard of before, and the other one which I had yet to see uh, before, and that's this company called um, uh, Suscon. Um, they were all made by this, and they were all different variations, um, and so what I decided to do was test the capacitors, uh, each and every one of them, with uh, my ESR meter and see um, how many of them were actually bad, how many were responsible for the faults. So there's six caps times nine monitors. That's the total number of caps I pulled out. Um, the pile you see in front of you is the caps that tested shitty but not dead. So these had an ESR less than half an ohm, uh, and their capacitances were... Um, they were all low, nothing was high, um, they were right at the low end of the tolerance, a couple of them were a little bit below tolerance, but these caps probably would have worked. Now, the caps on this side over here, um, these are uh, 1000 mic at uh, 16 volt, um, then, we also, then we have a 470 and a 680. Um, these ones had ESRs greater than 1 ohm, so some, some as, as high as 4 ohms, um, they were extremely leaky. These would not have worked in a switch mode power supply. And uh, so you can see uh, four of them are the Su Suscon and two of them are the Samsung branded. And um, over on this side, uh, again organized by, uh, by size, we have the capacitors which didn't measure as a capacitor at all. These ones are completely open uh, or they're so leaky and or that they're basically shorted. Um, so here we have the uh, the thousand at twenty five. These would be the thousand at sixteen, and then we've got uh, the four seventies and the one six eighty. So in this lot, um, we have two this of the Suscon branded, and uh, three six uh, nine of the uh, Samsung branded caps. Um, just as a you know the distribution that I had. It's interesting to see. The other thing that's interesting to note is that all the caps that were sort of marginal, um, they all have flat tops, and all of almost all of the caps, as you can see, just by touching them, almost all of the caps that were actually bad, they've bulged out on the top, and they don't really uh, they don't really sit uh, sit flat anymore. So um, it's it's kind of amazing, but the bulge test pretty much worked 100%. Um, I could have probably just replaced the bulging caps and gotten them all working again, of course. How long they would have lasted on these caps is iffy at best. But uh, it's interesting to note that. Um, I don't think there's a single bad cap that had a uh, a flat top on it. And that, okay, nope, there's one. One bad cap had a flat top. One. And that was it. So, I mean, all of the ones that... Were, were they looked okay were marginally okay I mean it's kind of shitty that uh, so many monitors were th effectively thrown out for uh, you know what is really uh, I think I spent a total of forty dollars that includes express overnight shipping for all these parts uh, it took me about four hours 
um, just myself to take apart the monitors, disassemble them, remove the power supplies, desolder all the components, put the new ones in, put it back together, test it. So, I mean, uh, it, it's kind of disappointing to see, but uh, at least the ones I have have a new lease on life. I'll probably keep a couple, have some crazy multi-monitor multi experiments, which I may put on this channel if they go well. And uh, the rest I'll probably just sell for uh, the time it took me to uh, to fix them. So uh, anyway, hopefully that uh, that was interesting. I don't know if anyone's really uh, taken a sample size this big and actually seen what kind of caps fail. But uh, there you go. So hopefully that was interesting. Thanks for watching.